Well, Book Buddies, this is Miss Evelyn, and today we're celebrating the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Our book today is My Daddy, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The author is Dr. King's son, Martin Luther King III, and the illustrations are by A.G. Ford. Let's find out what Martin Luther King has to say about his dad. I grew up with a famous father. My name is Martin Luther King III. But when I was a kid, my friends and family called me Marty, so no one would confuse me with my favorite famous dad. My sister Yolanda, who we called Yoki, and I wanted to go to Funtown. We wanted to go so badly, but Daddy said he couldn't take us because he was working so hard. And he also said Fun Town was only for white children, that black children couldn't go to Fun Town. We were so sad to miss out on all the rides and fun that we heard about at Fun Town. But at home it was different. Daddy was just Daddy. He would toss the football with me. He taught me how to shoot hoops and he teased me and played with me. He'd lift me up in the air and sit me on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> Away from home, things were different. It wasn't always easy being the son of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What's your name? The two older boys asked. Uh, uh, I don't remember, I said. I forgot. I knew it was wrong to lie. And Mom asked me, why did you say that? You know your name is just like your dad's name. I didn't want them to hate me, and I was afraid. Some people didn't like the work my father was doing. They didn't want to see change come. They didn't want to see everybody treated the same. And that's an unfair law. Once a neighbor was driving me home from school, and we heard on the radio that Martin Luther King and a lot of other people had been arrested and taken to jail. I was so afraid and I asked my mother, what did daddy go to jail for? What did he do wrong? She sat me down and hugged me. Daddy went to jail because he was trying to help people. Some people don't have enough to eat. They don't have comfortable homes or clothes to wear. And daddy was trying to help. That's all he ever tries to do is help. Don't worry. Daddy will be coming home. We were worried about Daddy sitting in jail. I carried her words close to my heart. And a year later, Daddy was arrested again. And Yoki and I were so afraid he wouldn't be home for Christmas. This time, I was the one who, to console her. Don't worry. He's already helped some people, but he has to help more. And when he finishes, he'll come back home and be with us. Sometimes my daddy led big marches of people. They would march to protest unfair treatment of other people. One time I was with my daddy downtown and a police officer had a huge dog. I was so afraid, but daddy held my hand and told me not to be afraid. I always felt safe with him. No matter how bad it got, my dad never fought back. We must meet violence with nonviolence. We must meet hate with love. So one Christmas, we got toy guns from some of our family members. All the kids played with toy guns, but Daddy didn't want us to have toy guns. And we took our toy guns outside and burn them all up because guns are only made to hurt and kill. So we destroyed them. We felt like maybe we were destroying hatred all over the world. When the bonfire was all finished, we had a big dinner and mom and dad and Yoki and I all ate and laughed. We had so much fun. We don't want to complain about anything, but we just were so happy to be with our mom and dad. 
When we had to go to new schools, we were a little afraid because we were going to be the only black kids in our classroom. Then we found out some of our friends, the Abernathys, were coming to school with us, and that made us feel much better. We were all in different classrooms, but we would see our friends at recess. Some of the kids weren't nice to us. They would tell us to go back to our own schools in our own neighborhood. But we just remained nice and friendly with everybody. That is how the world is going to change. By reaching out to other people with kindness and compassion the way my father did. And Book Buddies, we appreciate Dr. Martin Luther King and all he did to make this a better world. So today, I hope you'll remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all of his hard work. I'll see you next time on Storytime with Miss Evelyn.